Hey guys, and welcome to another video for Tina and DIY. Today I am doing a haul, and I have been putting these things aside and trying not to use them. And then the other day I just couldn't help it. I was like, nah, I want to use them, and you're just gonna have to see them when I've kind of half used them. <laughs> anyway, before I get into this collective haul, I just want to say, and I don't often do this, but just in case, I just want to say that um, this is a video in no way, way to like brag about what I've got. Um, and the reason I like doing these is because I personally like hauls, especially collective hauls, because I like to see what people buy and um, where they get it from. And also, I just think it's cool to just, you know, do a little video of this and you guys can see what I've just recently brought. And, you know, I'm a big bargain shopper, um, so I like to buy things that are usually either clearance or on sale. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into the video. So, yes. I have been doing a bit of shopping and I've been doing mostly makeup at the moment because next week I've actually got a wedding that I'm doing and I wanted to have like like a few bits and pieces like for this wedding so I'm going to be doing the bride's makeup which is like freaking I'm like kind of low-key stressing about it but anyway um, I wanted to buy some stuff that I could use for the wedding as well so um, yeah I'm just going to show you exactly what I got and I'm just trying to get them all together now uh, so I did add a like quite a good um, little shop on um, I've actually got the receipt here how was it called Um, it's called Makeup Clearance Company, but it's um, the site ilovemakeup.co.nz and they sell everything really, really cheap and um, it's kind of like the stuff that hasn't sold in like the likes of farmers, I think. I'm thinking, I'm guessing this is how it goes. It's like the stuff that they haven't sold in farmers or other counters and I've just moved it to this little shop or online shop. It's also in Hamilton and Auckland, I know, at the Dress Marts and they just try and get it all rid of. So, if you are looking for like a foundation, like for me, when I when I try looking for a foundation, for me, I can't usually find my colour because it's just whatever they have and you know, they're always getting new stuff in all the time, but they sell it really discounted and yeah, it's just like, ah! So anyway, I will leave down below the site that I bought the stuff off, but I thought that I would show you two things, or a few things, which have been used and are still in packaging. So the first one I got was this um, CoverGirl, it's the very black flamed out mascara, and I literally just got it because of the packaging. I just think the packaging is just really, really quite cute, and I like the whole orange and purple. Um, but yeah, I haven't opened this yet because I've already opened another CoverGirl mascara, and um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what this is all about because I've never ever tried it before. So obviously, just going from one mascara to another, I also got this one here. Um, this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume, and I know that the green one's really, really good. I don't mind this one, it's not too bad, um, but yeah, I want to try the green one, because I heard the green one's really, really good, so yeah, that might be the next thing on there, but this was super cheap as well. Both of these mascaras were actually under $10, and usually mascaras retail around the 25 mark, so bargain. The next two makeup products I got were from LA Girl and actually following on from LA Girl I'm going to just keep with that brand for the next few items. Um, so I decided to try out their LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses and I love them. They are amazing except there's one little flaw and I'm not sure if this is just with me but I have noticed that um, I wore this out not long ago and I was drinking and like normally matte lipsticks are all good when it comes to drinking. They usually wear off if you're eating like greasy food or you know like if you go out for dinner and you might have like a, some chips or something like that. They usually wear off then. Normally they last like no matter what you eat or like if you're drinking they're perfect. Um, and yeah this came out off like pretty much the start of the night. 
which was sticky and then it leaves this like really sticky residue and it's kind of like flaky and that's just so depressing because these are quite affordable they're like nine dollars from this particular site um, and the, the, the colors are really really quite beautiful so the one that I got was timeless and stunner and yeah they're quite nice colors this is a really purpley kind of vibrant color and this is like just a really nice not nude but um, like a brighter nude I don't know, I'm so bad at explaining colors but I like these but I don't like them, like there's a bit of a love-hate relationship, like I love how you could wear this, like if I was to work, I could wear this all day, um, it would just be when it's time to eat, you definitely have to reapply. I uh, also, I decided to try out one of these palettes, which is the LA Beauty Brick, LA Girl Beauty Brick, and um, this is the blush one in Glow, there's a few different collections that you can buy, and it just comes with two blush shades and also a bronzing shade and a highlighter. Um, I'm actually wearing the highlighter today, I don't know if you can tell, but I found that the highlighter is not like the colour that it actually is, it's like a really nice, um, like looking at it, it looks like it would be like a white kind of a highlighter, but it's kind of like a golden highlighter. I really like it. It's very really subtle. The bronze is pretty good and the blushes are nice as well. They're just very neutral. Um, I saw another blush palette, which I really want to get, and it's kind of like wintry colours. So I thought that I would just get this one for summer and I'll hopefully try and get the other one for winter. But this was a steal as well. I think this was like $8 something, but yeah, like I said, that was like awesome I love 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 and the last LA girl product that I got was the uh, matte lip um, lipsticks flat velvet lipsticks and these are kind of like the hype at the moment for lipsticks so when you buy it you initially think that that's like the top but actually that's the top it's so weird so this is how it comes up it's quite cool packaging and I got just one this time around, but I do want to get some more. Um, and I got it in the colour Hush, and it's a really beautiful kind of like nudey sort of a colour. So yeah, these are, are definitely a steal, and I think I got this for $9.99. I can't actually remember, sorry, but it was a good bargain. Okay, so the next items are definitely not bargains, and actually I've got it for my birthday. So I went and got some foundation um so yes this happened this is I was actually matched up which was really cool and um normally I don't really do that kind of like I don't go and get matched up which is, is really bad like I've been wearing makeup for a while now and it's probably quite a good idea to do it but I always get really a little bit intimidated to be honest so I was a little bit but I was fine but the girl there was awesome so the one that I got with the Pro Long Wear, um, MAC Pro Long Wear and NC35, which when I looked at this bottle, I was like, the heck, that is way too dark for me. But once it's on, it looks really, really natural. And holy heck. Okay, so I wore this already on Saturday at work and it lasts all day. I'm not kidding. It lasted all day and also, it just like because I've got quite oily skin it didn't show up any oil or ah oh, now I know why lots of wahine wear this it's freaking amazing and then of course I had to get the matching concealer and it's just an N3 NC35 as well the only thing is I'm really really scared that I'm gonna drop this one day because they're glass bottles so yeah I'm gonna have to be really really extra extra careful with this but um, yes, this stuff is, oh, if you could do the emoji with the like, oh, hand raising. Um, it is so good, does not crease. Like, I repeat, it does not crease. It is like quite a thin consistency, so it's like really easy to blend out under your eyes. And I just freaking love it. Oh. And also I got a little freebie, I got um, some MAC Prep and Prime as well in this little cute little MAC container, I think it's so gorgeous, so yeah, that's that.
them. So recently here in New Plymouth, we had a last season like pop-up stall and um, me and Arvie went to it the other day and I must say, I I thought it was okay. Like it wasn't like, oh my God, this is awesome, you know? It was just like, okay. Um, and me and him bought just one item each and that was it. Um, but I have shopped on last season like a lot before in the past. I, I love the website. They sell things like, obviously it's called last season so it's stuff that has been like in the last season and they're selling it for quite cheap. Um, if you're into like sports brands like, um, like they do like surf skate kind of brands then you will love this site. Um, I only bought a pair of shoes which is for winter actually and I've never actually heard of this particular brand but it's the brand called Keep and it's just these kind of like I don't know how do you explain these kind of like a bit of a skater shoe I think they're really cool they've got like little purple um, where the laces go and they've got that kind of soft material just there um, and I've still got the security taggy thing on it um, and the, the bottom of these are cool I don't know if you can see it but it's kind of embroidered into the what's this called the sole or was the sole inside of a shoe when it comes to this stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I thought this would be perfect for winter just to chuck on. Um, I work where I don't have like a, what is it, dress code. My full-time job, not my part-time job, but my full-time job, yeah, you don't really need to worry about what you wear. And I definitely can see myself wearing these hard out in the winter. I actually haven't tried them on. They were at eight and a half, so I'm hoping that they just fit my feet. Otherwise, I'm gonna be seriously gutted. But anyway, long story short, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. So good. So I'm yeah, really, really stoked about that. Okay, so the lucky last part of this haul is all about Lush and I previously to this haul was not the biggest Lush fan purely because one, we cannot get it here in Taranaki so you have to purchase it online and two, I don't have a bath and I always thought, oh, I need to have a bath to have like, you know, Lush stuff but actually, you don't. You really don't. We've got lots of cool stuff on there for like, um, showers, people who own showers so I was like, oh hell, I'm definitely going to buy some stuff so, one of the things I've already started using, I just couldn't help myself, I had to use it the other day. So, the other stuff I'm actually going to show you guys because I haven't opened them yet, obviously. So, I thought that I would do a collection of Lush stuff and I've already filled the jars that that stuff's meant to go in. So, that's like a little bit naughty. But, I'm just going to tell you guys that everything that I bought was $8 or $9 around that price so um i thought that was okay mm. anyway we'll we'll start with we'll start with this this one here so the first thing i got was the honey i wash the kids soap and i've always wanted this every time i go into the store i see like the big slabs of it and i'm like ah so i want this because it's got like the honeycomb at the bottom and oh it just smells like honey like i so can't wait to open this and use this So yeah, I got honey, I wash the kid. The thing is, Arby's actually the one who uses soaps, not me. So I don't know if he's going to use this stuff or not, because he's probably going to look at it and be like, what the frick is that? That doesn't look like a bar of soap, but uh, well, it is to me. The next one is actually a sugar scrub, and I love sugar scrubs. Um, I've been through a whole like, pottle of my Pure Fiji scrub in like a month. Like... I'm so bad with that stuff and it is quite expensive so I thought I need to buy a sugar scrub or something that's like a little bit cheaper and that I don't really mind if I use it in a month you know so I bought this sugar scrub here and if you guys kind of flash back to that konjac cognac haul that I did no demo that I did it sort of looks like that don't you reckon oh, I reckon it does so weird anyway um yeah this smells really good as well. You can put it under running water and make it into like a paste and then yeah, you can use it on your skin. So 
excited to use that. Oh no, I do. No. Oh my gosh, I do. It's stuck in there. Okay, how are we gonna do this? It's actually fully stuck in there. What the fuck, Leah? Why did you do that? Okay, I've got the plastic out. I got it out. Thank goodness. That is not going in there ever again. What an idiot. Okay, so the next thing that I'm super super excited about is this a Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly. It looks like jelly, guys. Like, it legit looks like jelly. Oh my god, this smells so nice. Okay, so that's what it looks like inside. And this one has like cherries, coconut, and coconut. I could actually eat that. <laughs> but actually that smells so good. Oh freaking hell, I just wanna go have a shower now. long ago. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try this out because it looked really interesting and obviously it smells amazing. I reckon this would be the perfect gift for a teenager, like if it's their birthday or, you know, um, I don't know, you want to buy something cute for your teenage daughter, this would be ideal. So good. Okay, let's see if I can get the soaps out. Okay, the soaps are easy to get out. Okay, so the next soap that I got was this one here, which is called Layer Cake. And it just looks like this. So it's just got all the like different colours on it, like red, blue, and green, and yellow, and stuff like that. And it smells so good. Like, oh my gosh, this is definitely, I reckon this one's going to be one that Avi will use. Because it's just like a normal block, you know, like a normal soap. So we're definitely going to be fighting over the soap, that's for sure. And then... The lucky last one in here, I've actually got other soaps in here, but they're actually body shop soaps, so I'm not going to show those ones, because I bought those ages ago. They're actually not mine, they're Arby's. <laughs> I got a sample, actually I got a few freebies. Um, I got this sample here, and it's Sexy Peel Soap, and I don't know why I didn't order this in the first place, because it smells so good. It's kind of like got lemon, I think, in it. Oh no, it says it's got marmalade. Yep, definitely tastes like something citrusy and I was going to give this one to Arby because like, it's just a little one but I think I want it for myself so anyway I got that for free so that was pretty pretty cool and then I got this little body scrub and I'm not going to open it but it's life's a beach body scrub and what the heck why is it that companies give you little samples like this it just it just, it just wants, makes you want to buy it like the little mac ones are so cute and the little lush ones are so cute as well it's like that's how they wheel you in that's how they wheel you in to, to buy more anywho i hope that this video hasn't gone on too long but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed these videos and don't forget to subscribe down below and i'll catch you guys in our next video bye texture so i've added that into my preferred container and then I'm just going to pop the lid on that and pop it into the freezer for as long as you want or until you want to eat it. And then, voila! Mmm. Man, this is good.